What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with one of the coolest Gen 9 Pokemon, Scent the Scorch. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Click that big red subscribe button. All it takes is two seconds. Scroll down a little bit and click on that big red subscribe button. That is all you have to do. And then you guys are supporting me as a content creator. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the team preview. Starting off with one of the best Dynamax Pokemon, Zapdos. We got the static and safety goggles as item and ability. And then we're rocking Roost for HP recovery, Rising Voltage for stab damage and double damage in the electric terrain. Then we got Hurricane for stab and then Eerie Impulse for special attack and support move. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be... <clears throat> what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we got ourselves a banger today we are rocking out with one of the coolest gen 9 pokemon in the whole game sent to scorch you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button and join the community it only takes two seconds of your guys time seriously two seconds of your guys time to support the channel and a lot of you guys aren't so that's when you guys get on top of that but let's get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview starting off with the one and only zapdos one of the best pokemon to dynamax just because of its resistance and moves and its move set is really really good we got Roost, we got Rising Voltage for Stab and Double Damage in Electric Terrain, then we're rocking Hurricane and Eerie Impulse for Special Attack Drops. Not to mention, we got the Static Ability alongside with the Safety Goggles as this Pokemon's item. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be right next to him. It's going to be the one and only Zacian. Do I have to say anything about it? Everything's pretty normal. We got the Protect, Iron Head, Play Rough, Close Combat moveset, and then the item and ability is obviously going to be the Interpret Sword and the Rusted Sword. Middle left is going to be our lovely little Storm Drink Astrodon. Protects my whole team from water moves. We got the leftovers as item so it can regain HP at the end of every single turn. Then we got Protect. Yawn to put opposing Pokemon to sleep. Recover, you know, just to recover some HP. Then last but not least, we need a stab hitting move. We're going to be using Scald on this guy. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Scorch. Not just any Scorch, G-Max Scorch. That's a fun Pokemon to use. I only used him a few times on the rank ladder, and I do pretty well with him. I really like this Pokemon. He's just fun and cool to use all around because, you know, he doesn't get that much love on the rank ladder. We got White Smoke as its ability, alongside with the Koba Berry as its item, so, you know, we can eat up an air move. Then we got Flare Blitz, Leech Life, both for Stab, and then we got Power Whip for a coverage move and Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left-hand corner is this lovely gorgeous Yvelta right here. We got probably my favorite set for it. We got Snarl, Oblivion Wing, Foul Play, and Sucker Punch. Every single move on that is insanely good. We got the Snarl for special attack drops, Oblivion Wing for stab and HP recovery, Foul Play to do big damage up against physical attackers, and then most importantly, that first turn priority with the Sucker Punch. Like I said, this move set is phenomenal, so you really can't go wrong with it. We got the Dark Aurora as his ability, and then the best item for this guy is going to be that Assault Vest. Makes him really bulky, makes him be able to soak up shots, and stay in the battle a lot longer. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be this lovely Rillaboom. Rillaboom is just great in most situations. He'll work perfectly for this squad. We have the Grassy Surge and the Rose Incense to boost our grass damage. And then we got Protect, Grassy Glide, Fake Off of Punches, and you turn to pivot out and get out different Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, I don't even have to say. The rental code is right at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this GMAX Sent to Scorch Series 12 team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one for today's video, going up against a Groudon and Regiram team that also features Whimsicott for Speed Control, Storm Jane Gash Down, which I don't really think he's going to bring it. And then he has the Defiant Thunders alongside with the Intimidate Incineroar. Okay, how am I going in this one? How should I lead it? I feel like Zapdos is such a great lead for this positioning right here. We can Dynamax him, we can take Speed Control, we can do plenty with him. So, you know, Zapdos, I'm leading you, buddy. I could also lead the Yvelta. I kind of like the Yvelta lead. This lovely little Yvelta lead. I don't know why, but I like it. I dig it. Or we can go Senti. We could go Senti Scorch, yo. I kind of want to bring Senti Scorch. I kind of want to do it. Senti Scorch is fun, dude. Fun, but he is physical attacking, so it's more so like a back-end Pokemon, because I don't feel like dealing with that, uh, that, what's it called? That Incineroar. Incineroar is not, I just don't like him. I just don't like him. But we have one more choice. We're going to bring the Yvelta and Zassi. We're going to lead the Yvelta alongside with Zapdos. But I'm leaning towards, like, Rillaboom. But Rillaboom's kind of scary. Rillaboom or, like, Scorch. Do I want to have some fun with this one? 
yeah, I want to have some fun with this. <laughs> let's go send this Scorch. Let's go send this Scorch and let's lead him. But yo, I forgot to even mention in the team preview. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing holiday, an amazing Easter. And if you don't celebrate the holidays, hopefully, you guys had an amazing day in general. We took the day off from uploading because, you know, celebrate it with my family, celebrate the holiday myself. But now we're back on the grind, bringing you guys that content every single day. But uh, at least we put two question of the day, and that is what is your guys' favorite holiday? If you guys have a favorite holiday that you guys like to enjoy, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your guys' answers and get back to you guys. But you guys can end up leading the Wimscott alongside with the Groudon, and I'm kind of cool with that. Kind of cool with that. I mean, I'm not upset at it, but it's kind of cool. It's not shabby. It's not shabby. Um, What's going to be my player? What's going to be my play? Dynamax, this guy right here? Airstream start taking a bit of more speed. Yeah, I'm with that. And then probably just go for like a foul play into the ground on. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what he does. He could drop some rocks, but I, I just don't think he has the moxie to drop rocks. Considering it's just going to change up weather and then eventually uh, kill his Wimscott if he does focus ass. So I don't see him dropping a giant rock ball and change up that weather. So we'll put the we'll put the ball in his, his court right here while we take a nice little hydration break. But right now, we are obviously faster, which is really, really good for us. Until he probably pops the tailwind. He's probably going to pop the tailwind. But we'll see what he does. We'll, we'll force him to pop the tailwind, and then we'll just start airstreaming. Airstreaming, but the double bird combo coming out here. The double bird. And foul play is just so good. I love foul play, especially up against some physical attackers. And then if they're playing... Oh, he's not even going to tailwind. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. He's not even going to tailwind. He'll probably tailwind next turn. I wonder what he's doing then. Moonblast? He's moonblasting. He's moonblasting. He is Moonblasting. It's fine. He's going to Moonblast into my uh, Yvelta, but my Yvelta should be able to eat that up with that Soul Fest. We're going to go into a Foul Play, which is gorgeous. How much damage are we going to do with this? That's some beautiful damage. <laughs> that is some beautiful damage. Sword Dance comes out here. I really like where we're sitting. Do I really like where we're sitting? Because that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. He's definitely going for the Moonblast, right? Quick, quick. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Uh, what do I do? Airstream's not going to be able to kill that. We go into a lightning for that. <laughs> ah! Hopefully he's going into my... Hopefully he's going into my Zapdos here. Hopefully he's going into my Zapdos. Helping hands coming in here. Once he dropped rocks, he's got to be dropping rock slide. He's got to be dropping rock slide. Miss my Yvelta, please. Rock slide. Miss my Yvelta. Zapdos dodges it. God dang it. Yvelta, can you eat? No! The one Pokemon I wanted to eat. Oh, kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. The lightning's gonna fly here. Uh, we'll take you out all day. Oh, trick room me, trick room me. How dare you? He trick room me. And of course, that rock slide connects my Yabelta. I wanted it to hit my Zapdos, miss my Yabelta. <laughs> that could've been great. But dang, dude, we could've went for an airstream then and uh, probably taken out that Groudon. But from here, we could be going for a Blades. Do I go into? This is tough. This is so tough. I gotta go into Zassian and protect, right? It's gotta be my play. It has got to be my play. It has got to be my play. That Groudon's looking terrifying. Now he's gonna bring out Reservoir and Dynamax him as well. Whew. That one hurts the soul. This one hurts the soul. This is so tough. This is real tough. This is real tough, yo. The trick room play from the beginning do me so dirty. But we're gonna have to go into an airstream here. I'm gonna have to. I have to protect this Pokemon. I have to protect my Zassian here. He might read it, but I, I have to. It's my like only way out. Cause Sent the Scorch ain't gonna come in the back end and clutch up. No shot. Sent the Scorch comes in the back end and clutches up. Here comes the Dynamax from the Regiram. He's posing threats from two sides now. He has a Dynamax full health Regiram and a Sword Dance Ground. They're both huge threats. I don't want to deal with any of them. <laughs> Not one of them. Not one of these guys. Okay, so there's Dynamax from Reggie. Uh, I don't think how we can play this one. He's definitely going for Blades, right? Protect coming out from my dog. Dance with my dogs in the nighttime. Hey, hey. Rock, oh, he's Rock Slizzling. Rock Slizzling. And he must be going for a what's called here as well. Look at his damage. Woo. He must be going for a Flare here as well in his Zacian, are you? Yeah. Is that going in Zacian? Yeah. Zacian eats because of Protect, but still. Ah! Uh! That's terrifying. That is terrifying. But now we need this. We need this KO. We need this KO Groudon or we lose. KO Groudon, please. Let's go. Okay, that's a big time KO. 
Did we get rid of Groudon? Now oh, it's like... Really depends who he has in the back end. Because now I can go into a Rising Voltage and I can go into like a Behemoth Blade. I just have two Pokemon that can deal a good amount of damage, but he has Speed Control all day. He has Speed Control, so we're hoping he goes into some weakling Pokemon. And now it's going to be somebody who can fake me out. Who can just, you know, give me the claps. Hey, what is my play? How many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. How many turns left in Trick Room? Can Santa Scorch come in the back end, you know, do some work? <laughs> I don't think he can. I don't think he can do enough work. Let's see. Two more turns left in Trick Room. Oh my lord. I do not have Protect on this guy. We're obviously going to go for a Rising Voltage. It's double damage. We're going to use it that way. And if we can, what do we go for? What would do more damage? Times two, but not very effective. Times or let's just stab. What would do more? I think would this one might do more. I'm gonna go for this. <laughs> I think that might do more, right? We'll go for some. He's just gonna go straight for flare blitz. He's gonna pick up easy double kill. Great call by him. He's in the trick room. He has full control out here. There's a double kill for him. No problem. It's coming down to a 2v1. My sense scorch is not doing anything. He's not gonna be able to do anything. He goes for the flare. Ouch. That one hurts. That one hurts. And I think I think if this instant order just flare blitzes into my Sense Scorch, he's dead. Right? It's over with. It's over with all day. Poor little Sense Scorch. Not even gonna get a chance to shine. Not even gonna get a chance to shine. Poor little buddy. Poor little buddy over here. God dang it. But you know what? A play that we probably could have done, which actually could have worked better. Actually, I want to see this dude's speed. Let's see your speed real quick. What's your speed looking like? 88, you might be slowest. Might be the slowest little pokey here. Could just go for Leech Life, which is what I'm going to go for. But a play that I should have done, which probably would have gave us a better chance, is instead of going after that Whimsicott, early on with the Max Lightning, we should just double down into that Groudon and hit him with a Max Airstream just to take him out. But he's going to Fire Blitz there. He's going to chip up some damage. We're going to go for a Leech Life. How much damage are we really going to do with a Leech Life? Not bad. We get some HP back, but we know the Max Flare's flying, and we're dead off of that, right? Sun Scorch is not eating. Bye, Sun Scorch. Thanks for coming out here. Thanks for coming out. It's all good, yo. GG's. Battle number one, not in our favor. We got 0 1. Let's hop into our second. Look for a first win for today's video. Okay, I see our opponent using a triple starter team in Series 12. We'd love to see it. We just recently used our own triple starter team. Hope you guys did check out that video. It was awesome. We got some wins with it. Cool team all around. But we're going up against this triple starter team with Groudon Kyogre for double weather. And then he also has the lovely Whimscott for speed control. Okay, so uh, what's the play here, Jeans? What's the play? Because that Groudon is scaring me. That Groudon is definitely scaring me. How should I go into this one? Set the Scorch isn't looking too shabby. Just like a nice little Dynamax. Get after it that way. I dig me some Senti. I dig me some Senti Scorch. I might go Senti Scorch with Yvelta. Yvelta, he has a lot of different special attackers. We can snarl up. We can kind of go from there. I'm kind of cool with leading both of these guys. Yeah, one, two. We're going to bring Zacian. And then I think we're going to bring Rillaboom in the back. I don't know why. But Rillaboom's just call my name. He's just call my name. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves our first win for today's video. That last battle, a little tough for us. A little tough for us. That Groudon got off that sword dance. And then once that Wimscott used Trick Room, I was like, no way. Popped that Trick Room, that roll from there, which was a huge play for him. And really uh, solidified that battle. We, we couldn't waste enough turns to waste out Trick Room. And then by the end of the Trick Room, we were just, we were just, our hole was too deep. We were, we were in too deep. But he's going to end up going Whimscott alongside with Venusaur. And I'm kind of cool with this because I can Dynamax Senti Scorch here. And I can just start dropping Snarls. Hopefully Dynamax from Senti. From Senti Scorch. Right? G-Max Senti Ferno. Looking real good. Looking real good. Then just Snarling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'd love a Snarl. Even though Oblivion Wing could be a good call. We should go into Snarl, just in case he wants to uh, stay in with these special attackers or Dynamax to uh, Venusaur. I like it. I like it a lot. Do indeed like it. Let's see what he does. He might Dynamax to Venusaur. Or he might go into Tailwind and try to start putting me to sleep. Hmm. What is the play? Wow, I should actually probably went into my Zapdos. Safety goggles? Could have did real good against Sleep Powders. Could have did real good. Now I'm scared if he's going to try to put my, uh, my Senta Scorch to sleep. I wouldn't like that one bit. Not my little Senta Scorch. Not my big old Centipede. Look at him, yo. We're G-maxing him. We're getting rolling here. We gotta get this win, man. We have to get this win. 
for the jeans community, baby. We need it. We need it here. Let's see what he does. Tailwind. Tailwind. Sleep powder. Sleep powder. Oh, it missed. Bang, bang, bang. Sent to Scorch, baby. Sent to Scorch all day. He's going to be able to take out Venusaur. Venusaur dead. Venusaur gone. Get him out of my face. And I should have Oblivion Wing. That could have been easy double kill. But I actually would rather keep out the Whimscott than for him to throw out two very strong Pokemon. I'm with this all day. G Max sent the Ferno. Yes, sir. Run it up. Later, Venusaur. Later, Venusaur. More importantly, we get the chip damage going around. The only problem with this uh, chip damage is it doesn't do. It does half as much as a uh, Wildfire does. Like, look at that. That's still solid damage. It's Fire Spin damage. But, like, Wildfire and, like, G Max Vine Lash and like, G Max Kennedy, all the starters, Dynamax moves, they don't. They do so much more, which is ridiculous. They do so much more. They really do. But he might drop a rock and take out my Sense Scorch, which I do not like. In this case, you know what? I could go Flutter by. I just want to go into this grass move. Deal some damage and foul play up. I'm with that. Foul play over on this thing. I think he's Dynamax and Groudon, right? It's got to be Dynamax and Groudon. 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 Do, 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 do. What's he doing? What is my boy doing here? What is my boy doing? He's going to withdraw Groudon. What's he going into? Going to Kyogre. Charizard. Okay. Fine. Fine. It's fine. I'm confused why he went to Charizard. Do you think I was going for it? Was he forcing me, trying to force me into like a fire move? Fine with that. We'll drop this little grass move onto him and we'll foul play as well. We'll, so, we'll just chip up so much damage here. Look at this. Bang. Max ever goes. It's going to be not very effective. Not going to be stabbed, but still, it's going to do a decent amount of damage. And then I, I could probably just sucker punch that thing and take it out. No, it actually did like so much less than I thought it would. <laughs> so much less. So we know his team now, which is good. We know his team for facts. And then from here, you know, oh, solar power chipping. We'd like that. We'd like that solar power chipping damage. We'd like that. Fire spins can come out here. Yes, sir. Chip up the damage all day. And now I could just drop an oblivion wing. I'm really leaning towards. Actually, we'll go for a flutter by here. Get that special attack drop. It's solid. It's solid. Good snarl. Could do this. Snarl. I'm, I'm thinking of snarling. I don't know why. Now nah, we'll take out Wimscott. We have Sucker Punch if, if need be. We have Sucker Punch if need be. But yo, G Max and Scorch, he's doing you know, some work right now. He's doing some work. I wonder what he's going to do. Like, he hasn't Dynamax yet. He has not Dynamax yet. He's still not going to do it. Moonblast flying through here. I'm cool with that. My boy eats this up with Assault Vest. Lovely. And what's Charizard going for? Double Heat Wave? Blast Burn. He's going to take me out with this. Can you eat this somehow? I would love you forever. No shot. No shot, but he drops down. We're gonna be able to take out uh actually I hope we don't take out this Charizard here. He's not gonna be able to move next turn. Gorgeous. Flutterby comes through here. Built and solar power. Solar power is gonna take him out here. And now uh now I can bring out do I bring out my Zazian? Do I bring out my really my real boom type noise. Type nice here. Especially up against Groudon, I'm kinda with it. I'm kinda digging it. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring out my Roboom. Start sending damage over there, and yeah, fire spins. It's doing work, but the what's called is definitely uh doing us dirty a little bit. The grassy terrain, it's kind of healing up just as much as it's taken away. But he goes to his final Pokemon. It's gonna be this ground, and we already knew that. That already took a little bit of damage, right? Didn't we hit it with a move, or did he swap full health? He might swap. Yeah, he swapped full health. He swapped full health. Uh, what do we do here? I'm gonna make this into. I'm just gonna turn this into a, a, a 2v1 battle. I'm just gonna turn this into a 2v1. We're gonna flare blitz that way. We're gonna grass guard across this way, and we're gonna go that. We're, we're gonna go from there. If I can make this into a 2v1, he's gonna Dynamax Groudon. It's gonna be a lot closer than I thought. A lot closer. A lot closer. Wow, this one's scary. This one's scary. The Tailwind end. He might have one more turn left in Tailwind. And if I can get rid of this Wimscott and have my Zassian outspeed that Groudon, we could be sitting so good. That's what I need. That's what I really need. I need speed. Because this right here, this guy, Dynamax, big form, scary. Looking real scary. Yeah, this one plays. Grass guy comes through. Uh, right. Solid damage. Solid damage. Wimscott's going for the Moonblast. And who's he going to KO? Who is KO in here? 
Just for flair. That's gotta be go air and air for Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I, I don't mind that. Because now Sense Scorch takes out Wimscott all day, and I think Tailwind ends. I think Tailwind ends. Right? Does Tailwind end here? Does Tailwind end? I think it does. I think it does. We take a little bit of recoil damage. He's gonna get a little bit of HP, and if Tailwind ends, we can. Ooh. Tailwind ends. We're sitting gorgeously. Show it to me. Yes. Yes. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Like I said, I did not mind if the Robin went down. I had just did not mind it one bit. As long as I get rid of that Wimscott, make it into a 2v1, and us taking speed. We love it. So from here, I'm just gonna send a Behemoth Blade, and I'm just gonna keep uh keep hitting up on this Groudon. Behemoth Blade is a much needed move. Go for the power whip probably does the most damage, right? Yeah, power whip. Super effective. We're gonna go into the behemoth blade. Double damage. Stab. We're plus one. We'd love to see it. Let's see what he does. He's gonna he's gonna go for the soaks. Well, he has to basically. How much damage are we doing? Because we know he's gonna go after Zassian after this. We do this, built, huge damage, and we just end the battle there, dude. Zassian is way too strong. That is so broken. That is legit so broken how he just takes him out like that with a with a neutral move. It wasn't even super effective, but there it is, yo. One on one for today's video. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. Let's finish off today's video with a win here. Let's grab ourselves a winning record in battle number three, going up against a Xerneas and Groudon team, alongside with Venusaur to pair up with that Groudon. Obviously, then he has Intimidate Landorus and Didi to, you know, pair up with that Xerneas. And then, last but not least, he's got that instant award. But how should I play this one? How should Jeans play this one? Uh, his Robin should be slower than... Is he slower than Indeedy? Maybe not. Maybe not. 113, that seems faster than me. Okay, uh, how am I doing this one? Because I really don't want him to go into uh, Xerneas and kind of just get rolling onto me. That could be bad news. That could be real bad news. Uh, but from here, I could go. Who's faster here? It's going to be... Zacian should be faster than Zach. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So, you know what? I'm going to lead both of these guys. Just in case he wants to lead the Indeedy and, uh... And Xerneas combo, I feel like Zassian can take out Indeedee in one shot, and then Zapdos can go into an Eerie and pulse it into the Xerneas. I really do like that. I really do like that. So I'm going to lead them two, and then I'm going to go into Yveltz in the back end? Yeah, you got to bring Yveltz. It's Pokemon too strong. And then last but not least, did we go Roboom? Roboom's not looking shabby here. Just with that terrain control and everything, I really do like Roboom. So you know what? I'm going to lock it down. We're going to lock it in. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But I, the only thing I'm kind of scared of against this team is going to be that, uh, that what's it called? That Xerneas and Indeedee combo. I mean, Ground and Venus was obviously scary too, but I feel like I'm worrying about the Xerneas and Indeedee kind of coming out here and him setting up that Xerneas because everybody knows Xerneas after Geomance is insanely strong. But he's going to end up going into Incineroar and Ground, which uh, I'm okay with, I guess. I'm all right with. I mean, it is a little scary, but still. I feel like we can deal with it. I feel like we can definitely deal with it. Uh, we just Behemoth Blade into the ground on here. I could protect my Zass. Or I could swap him. I could swap him if I want to. I'm leaning towards the Dynamax here. I'm leaning towards the Dynamax. I'm going to a straight airstream. like Groudon and then you know just swapping him into Yveltal just in case he wants to go for the blades move into me we'll swap here then we'll Dynamax kind of just like in case he wants to fake out my Zapdos I think this is a good turn we can take speed control here too lovely little speed control with this airship so we're swapping the Zass and we say Ayo Zass get back get back and we're gonna bring out the one and only lovely Yveltal love this Pokemon I love this Pokemon a lot of fun a lot of fun to use what's he rolling out with here what is he doing? I think he's going to go for a Blades. I honestly do think he's going to try to drop a Blades. This could be a big dodge for us. Um, I think he's going to go for maybe a Fake Out as well. But I think he's going to Fake Out my Zapdos. The reason I think he's going to Fake Out my Zapdos is because he might think I'm protecting my Zapdos. Or he might just go for a straight party shot. That I would not like. Unless it's all my Yveltal. Then I'll be like, alright, it's kind of fine. But he's going to end up Dynamax as well. Okay. Go for the ground move. I hope it's a good Unless he's going for the Flare. Flare would be the safe play. It honestly would be. He's gonna die to Max Growl. Let out Don. Do 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 do. And then I can foul play into him next turn. Which pretty good. Not bad. Do like a good old foul play into him. I don't know. Foul play does some noise damage. Some noise noise damage. Gonna end up going for an airstream. He's gonna parting shot. He's gonna end up parting shot. 
right? Actually, nah. We might, might just go for Flare Blitz. Let's see what he does. I think he's going to go for the Parting Shot. He's going go, go for the Flare. So he's, he went for a smart play here. He goes for the Flare instead of the... Uh, instead of the... What is it even called? Instead of the Quake. It was a smart play. And he does some damage. And then he party Shots out. Which I do not. Macy minus one on special attack. Tough news. Okay, uh, from here, I'm definitely gonna foul play into the Groudon. Well, from there, unless he brings out a Pokemon, I can Oblivion Wing and do some mean damage on him too. Let's see. What's he going into? Indeed. Oh, son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Gonna do, gonna do me dirty like that? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? He's gonna boost special defense. It's tough. Top news, and then we know he's gonna go for that follow. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go into lightning here, change up terrain, and then foul play, right? I'm gonna try to get off this foul play on the ground, but if you follow me, is it? I do not care. I don't care. I don't care. Helping hand comes out. Oh, wow. Helping hand. Hand ready to roll. Going for the lightning. Chipping up some damage here. This thing's gonna be able to soak all day, though. We're minus one. He's plus one. It's tough, dude. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts his soul. But Foul Play's gonna be able to come out here, which is gonna be nice. Deal some Foul Play damage. We'd love us some Foul Play damage. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad damage onto a Dynamax Groudon. And then he drops a rock. That's probably... Is that taking out Zap Zappy? It is not. Mwah. Love it. It's not taking out Zappy. Cool. Not taking out my Zip Zap. My Zip Zap thriving. Zip Zap is thriving. We're gonna take some Buffet damage. And I'm... Dude, I'm fine with racing these turns. Fine with this, I really am. Uh, from here, we could. What do I do? Airstream? Yeah, I'd rather go into an airstream. Take a bit more speed control. Living Wing could be the play, but I gotta go for his foul play. Let's go for follow me. He can go for follow me. It's fine. We're foul play. He's probably gonna go maybe for another helping hand. No, he follow me. It's a shot. So we're probably gonna take out NDD here. I'm cool with that. Because then I can bring out Zassy in the back end, do some damage onto that. What's it called? Onto that ground on, but this foul play should just be able to take out Indeedy, and then we can roll out from there. But he's probably gonna bring out Incineroar next. That that I do not like. Incineroar, he's too good, especially up against my two backhand Pokemon. Foul play comes through here, get on out of here. Indeedy. So we take out Indeedy, and Groudon's gonna be able to pick whoever he wants to take out. Let's see, it's gonna be Rockfall, Zapdos, right? Kind of hoping it's more so Zapdos, right? No, my Yvelta. <laughs> I love me my Yvelta. I would have rather had another turn for Yvelta. But I could go into a roost here. I could go into a roost. Now the real call is, do I go into you? Yeah, I'd rather go into him over uh, over Zassian because he's no. We know he's bringing out the world or the uh, instant war. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. You know, likey. We know, likey. He brings out that. We take terrain. I could. Oh, I could straight grass guide it to Groudon now. This could be solid. Could definitely be solid. But now we're minus one. Oh, oh! I'm thinking of maybe just dropping a fake out. I don't, I don't know. What, 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 what do I do here? I could fake out and roost. Ooh. Fake out roost turn. That is looking a little spiffy, right? Fake out roost for some HP. You love me some roost. Let's roost up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> fake out roost. We're gonna fake out the ground on. Faking out the ground on. Ah, oh, you son of a biscuit! Gonna go for the How dare you? What is Incineroar going for? What is Incineroar going for? We roosting though. Roost. Give me HP. Yes. <laughs> what, party shot again? Okay, cool. He wants the weather back out. Uh. What's my play? What is my play? Who do I swap? Who do I swap? Zip Zap? I could go. I could start Eerie Impulsing. Ooh. Good start. Oh, that could be so good. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna eerie impulse. And I'm gonna swap it to my Zassian. I'm gonna play all day, right? Eerie impulse just starts and then swap into Zassian. I do like that. Or you know, no, I can just target down this uh this ground on slot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. Start eerie impulsing and grass guide into ground on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we have speed. We have speed. Grass guy coming through. Yeah, right. chipping up some damage. Not bad. One more should take him out, which we love. And then Eerie Impulse comes through here. 
Mwah. So if he wants the Geomance, that's fine. That's just going to grant him speed and special defense boost. But we have all physical attackers on the field. Besides my Zapdos. Here goes the Geomance. It's fine. It's fine. Now he's even. Now he's even on the, what's it called? On special attack. It's not like he's just going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. So the next turn, I'm just going to go for it again. I'm just going to go for the exact same turn. Right? Geomance coming out here. So good Eerie Impulse on him. Right. Really good Eerie Impulse on him. Really good area. He crash coming in hot. Hey, yo, leave me alone. Chill on me. We're dead, are we? Yeah. That's actually fine that he takes me out there. That is fine. That is fine. Because from here, I feel like I just... I, I just don't think he swaps the... The Xerneas with the plus two on the speed board, right? I just don't see him doing that. So I'm just going to Eerie Impulse into him again. And then into that slot, I'm just going to drop a close combat. I'll lower my special defense. I think we should be fine. I just think Eerie Impulse 100% to play. And then close combat, just in case he wants to swap the ground into Incineroar. Right? Because I don't see him yet. There's the Witch Off. Beautiful. Beautiful. We'll take the minus one for the super effective shot right here. With it all day. With it all day. Maybe we can pick up a KO. That could be huge. That could be huge. Xerneas, I need to start sending these Eerie Impulse. I need it. Let's do it. Moonblast coming in hot. Should be able to eat that. Should be able to eat that. Look at that. Beautiful. Love you, Zapdos. Love you, Zapdos. Special attack drop. It's okay. We're Eerie Impulse in this thing. Send it that way. This thing is now minus two. We love it. We love that. It kind of stinks that he's faster than me. Close combat, flying through here. Send it to KO it. Let's go. 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 It's a big time KO. Uh, what's my next player? My next play. I don't know what my next play is. That's the problem. That is the problem here. What is my next play? That's the problem. Uh, 